Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Claw Origami. So in the last video, um, I tried I showed you how to shape uh the ropes and the whole bird and stuff. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to shape um his legs. But first, before we do that, you, oh, you know how he has like that purple skirt um in his back. So in order to get the skirt, he has you have to like fold like that and then like this to have that like skirt almost and then you just fold the feet of the bird up um, you can see it clearly this is what it looks like all you do is fold down really this is like um most of my models are mainly modifying almost i would say so to shape the legs i already did one right here as a test on which you can see um um and so how to shape the second leg is you just open up like this, like that, and then you just pull out. It's basically like the rope, except here's a part where, I mean, you might not really get it. So you fold like this upwards. It's hard to see probably. Like that. We can get a close up on it. Um... Like that. So it's like pants like almost. Then you fold it just like that. And boom. Like that. And then you just fold those flaps behind. If you get, sorry if my hand's in the way. I was trying to like fold it and then show you. Just fold the flaps behind really. I, mean, I can't really show you that. Let me just get it all folded behind. See like that. And then the ropes, basically you just move all of it up to the front. Like this, and like this. Sasuke is a hard one to shape himself, actually. Like, the bird and stuff is easy, but him shaping himself, I mean, shaping himself is, like, hard. Uh, so, you just have to, like, try and get his, um, Front body parts up there like that. Boom. There we go. Let's try and leave this part open. So how to shape the hands. To get the Chidori. Alright, so take one of the hands out. Um, fold it like this. Like that. Open it back up. And sink it. It might unfold the legs a little bit. But that's how you get the Chidori. Like that. And then how to shape it to actually look like a Chidori is just really do your own thing, honestly. This is how I'm going to shape it. Um, like this. Um, um so... I'm not going to really be talking that much because I'm, tr I'm just really trying to focus on, on making origami really. I mean, honestly, I think origami just comes from the heart, mostly. Or it comes from, like, emotions deep inside. That's what I got from an uh, origami master named Eric Schultz. I don't know how to pronounce his name. But he died in 2007. You all know. It's kind of sad. Uh, I mean, I really did look up to him. All of his models are just lifelike and amazing. And I was I really wish I could have met him, but I mean things don't turn out the way you always want, right? Um, so that's how you shape it your Dory. I mean you shape it your own way around. You can't really get the hand out much to try. Um and so um any so how to shape the head? Um you just Fold it down like that. This is like his face. It's like it's literally a white blank piece piece of paper. Now to shape the hair though. This is the hair. You sink it like that. And on the back, you add three. Like you fold it towards like three. Try and get a close up of that. Alright, like that. Three like that. And on the front, 
you make two. Like that, see? Doesn't that look like some more of Sasuke here? Uh, so... Now we have Sasuke, like, all together. So now what we have to do is, like, assemble him on the bird, almost. So... Like this. Try and get the Chidori. Looks a little bit sloppy. I mean, for most people, it might be. And... Uh, um, so like, there. His wings, I can't really make bigger, unless I make a, v a version 2. So, that could possibly happen. And also, I'm coming up with a new model. I'm not going to say it, but all I'm saying is it's a one-piece design. Alright. So... I mean, that's really how you shape him. Um. Um, so. Yeah. Um, I. Uh. Yeah, that's it, I guess. That's actually how you shape him. And then just get the bird crouching like that. With his feet up like that. Um, also, Happy Thanksgiving, and tutorial, I guess, on shaping and hair making. Alright guys, bye, Dragon Claw users.